All these YouTube channels are getting millions of views, and the crazy thing is, their thumbnails weren't made by an overpriced thumbnail designer on Upwork or Fiverr. Instead, they were created using a cheap and easy to use AI thumbnail generator that can produce thumbnails like this, this, and this in under five minutes. And this isn't just luck. Countless other channels are using this exact same strategy to go viral. So if you want to start making viral YouTube thumbnails that drive more views to your videos, I'm going to show you the exact tool that can replace your expensive thumbnail designer and create high quality thumbnails in under five minutes. The tool that we're gonna be using is called Pixels and this is by far the best AI thumbnail generator. So I'm gonna go ahead and run you guys through a step-by-step -step process on how to use it. If you guys wanna get started with Pixels, go ahead and use the link down below and you'll get taken to a page like this. On this page, they're gonna show you countless thumbnails that have used this exact same AI generator to create thumbnails and get millions of views. If you go ahead and scroll down, I'll just show you guys really quick the pricing. So here's the pricing structure. If you want to try it out for completely free, they have a free trial right here. And then they also have an essential package and a premium package. I would say you get the most bang for your buck with the premium package because you get access to a lot more features that'll help you with your thumbnail creation process. So here's exactly how you sign up for free. You go ahead and scroll up to try for free. It's the top right hand corner. And then you'll connect to your Discord account. Just go ahead and authorize everything. Okay, so now that we went ahead and connected our account, it took us to a page that looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the whole entire platform so you guys can see just how beneficial official this is. In Pixels, you have two different options to create a thumbnail. You can either use the text-based feature or you can simply recreate another viral thumbnail. I'll show you the exact process on how to walk through this a little bit later, but let's go ahead and generate a thumbnail for ourselves using the text-based feature. Before we do that, we have to have a video idea. So I went ahead and I did a little bit of research and I found a channel that's using AI-generated thumbnails to go viral on a consistent basis. Here's the channel that I found. It's called Wing X. As you can see, they have over 195,000 subscribers subscribers. Their most recent video got over 3 million views using an AI generated thumbnail. And they're consistently getting over 100,000 views using this thumbnail strategy. I'm actually really curious to know what a channel like this is making on a monthly basis. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT, what is the average RPM of a YouTube channel? Let's see what it tells us. Okay, cool. So right here, it breaks it down for us. RPM stands for revenue per milli. Revenue per milli essentially means how much you make for every thousand views. And it says on average, the average RPM for most YouTube channels typically range between $1 to $5 per 1000 views. So let's go ahead and go back to this YouTube channel and see how many views they've got it in the past couple months. So they got 3.2 million views. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of math on chat GPT. We'll put 3.2 million plus 161,000 plus 161,000 plus let's see 241,000 plus 241,000 plus one 1.7 million plus 1.7 million. So this channel has generated over 5 million views in the past three months. And these are just their past one, two, three, four videos. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT another question. If the average RPM of a YouTube channel is $5 and a channel got 5 million views, how much money is that? Okay, cool. So it broke it down super simply for us. As you can see, it did the math. So with an RPM of $5, a channel with 5 million views would earn approximately approximately $25,000. Keep in mind, this is just an estimate as RPMs can kind of vary. So we're gonna try to recreate a similar thumbnail to their most recent viral video that got over 3 million views. So let's break this thumbnail down so we know exactly what to ask Pixels when creating this thumbnail. So just off the top of my head, I see that it's a plane on the edge of a cliff that just crashed with trees in the background. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna literally take exactly what I said and enter it into the text prompt. Can you create a thumbnail of a plane that just crashed and is hanging off a steep cliff to set the scene, there are trees in the background. So it's very simple yet very descriptive. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the AI generate this thumbnail and I'll show you guys the results. So it took about two minutes to generate the thumbnail and it created exactly what I asked it to. So as you can see, it's a plane about to fall off of this cliff and there are trees in the background. Keep in mind, the more clear and concise you are with what you want the AI to generate, the better your thumbnail will be. If you're currently making thumbnails by yourself or paying for it, Pixels is gonna help you save a lot of time and a a lot of money. The best part about Pixels is if you don't like the thumbnail that it generated, you can simply press redo and it'll generate a completely new thumbnail. So let's go ahead and try this feature out. So what I want to do is I want to recreate a similar thumbnail to this. So let's just break it down quickly. It looks like it's a plane that just crashed and is about to fall off of a cliff. To describe the scene, there are trees in the background. So let's go back to Pixels and let's see what this AI thumbnail generator can generate for us with that brief description. So as you can see, our prompt is, can you create 
create a YouTube thumbnail of a plane that just crashed and is on the edge of a cliff. To set the scene, there are trees below it. So let's go ahead and see what the AI generator can generate for us. I'll let it do its thing. As you guys can see, it's actually pretty quick. It's already about 20% done and it's only been about 10 to 15 seconds. So let's see just how long it takes to create a full YouTube thumbnail. Here's how it came out once it was finished. So let's say you like the majority of the thumbnail, but there's a small part that you'd like to change. So let's go ahead and do this with the first one. I personally didn't like the plane because I just felt like it didn't look right. It looked out of place. So I'm going to go ahead and press the edit button, which is right next to the redo button. Just to make it look a little bit better, we'll put, can you change the plane and add fire on the bottom? Okay. It's very important that you add this, but keep the rest the same. And then let's go ahead and generate it. So as you can see, it's generating right now. Let's give it a little bit of time and then we'll come back to see how it looks. Okay, cool. This actually looks a lot better. Here is the cliff, the trees on the bottom, the sky is the same, but they changed the plane. So it's a helicopter now, but it looks a lot better than the previous picture. Just to compare it for you guys, let's go ahead and go back. This was the first picture and this was the second picture, which I actually really, really like. That's exactly what you have to do when using pixels. So just keep adding more details that you would like and eventually it's going to give you a thumbnail that actually looks really good. So all right, guys, if we go back to this main YouTube channel where we got the inspiration from, as you can see, they have text over their thumbnail. It says man galore and you can actually do this in pixels as well. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. What you can do is you can go to the edit button and you can simply type a prompt like this. Can you add the text man galore in a bold white font at the top of the image? So let's go ahead and see what pixels generates for us. Wow, this is insane how quick it did this and how good it looks. As you can see, this is the image that pixels generated for us. And this is the other video on this channel that got 3.2 million views. Look at this thumbnail and let's go back to pixels and look at our thumbnail. I would say this has the potential to definitely go viral and get millions of views just like this video right here. It's important to know that with a YouTube video, you have both verbal and visual hooks. This white text right here serves as a visual hook, enticing the viewer and causing them to be interested in what is going on in the video. It really emphasizes the important parts of the video and it really makes the thumbnail stand out. Let's go back to this channel and see how important adding text is because they implement it in majority of their thumbnails. So let's go to their most popular videos. As you can see, each one of their popular videos has some sort of text in it. This one right here, it says no fuel. This one right here, it says Mangalore. And this one right here, it has the type of plane that is in the video, okay? So it's very important that you add text in your thumbnails and Pixels is the perfect software to help you do that. It's important to note that to make a good thumbnail, it might take a few different tries or a few different prompts until you get one that you like. As you guys have seen through my creative process, it did take quite a few tries, but eventually it ended up creating something that I really, really liked. What most of the top channels are doing without you even noticing are combining AI thumbnails and real images to create a hybrid thumbnail that gets millions of views. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the biggest creators on the platform, Mr. Beast. As you guys can see here, one of his latest videos is him on a slide. So I'm pretty sure this image is AI generated because I've never seen a slide like that in my life. And what they did is they went ahead and combined him and an AI image to create a viral video. As you can see, this video got over 160 million views using this hybrid thumbnail method. So the major part of this thumbnail is this slide right here, which is AI generated. And they went ahead and added an image of him later on with post-production. So what you would do in this case scenario is you would make post edits in another software like Photoshop or something else, right? Really simple edits. So the cool part about Pixels is you can actually download it directly to your computer. How you do this is you just press the download button and it'll save it to your desktop. So if you go ahead and press that, you'll go ahead and have that thumbnail in a matter of seconds. A good thumbnail can increase your CTR and help viewers choose your video over a competitor's. With how competitive YouTube is, you really want to stand out with your thumbnails. I want to see if I can create a thumbnail around something that's really popular lady is the Squid Games franchise. So let's see if Pixels can generate us a Squid Game style thumbnail. So a video idea that I had off the top of my head was the Squid Games ending explained. Don't worry, there's not gonna be any spoilers, but this is just something that came to the top of my head. So let's see if Pixels can use this prompt and help me create a thumbnail for my video. So I went ahead and asked it, can you create a thumbnail for a video called Squid Games ending explained? Here's what it came out with. And that was just off of a generic prompt. After using Pixels, there are a few tips that'll save you a lot of time and a lot of uses that I personally learned while using this tool. So here are they. Number one, being descriptive and as detailed as possible with your prompts. Number two, you want to describe the most important part of your thumbnails as much 
much as possible. And number three is you want to keep it simple. The more you overcomplicate it, the more the AI gets confused. Keep in mind, it might take a few tries to make a thumbnail that you really like, but with all the added features like the redo button and the edit button, it's way more simpler than having that back and forth with a thumbnail designer. That takes days or even weeks to get you one single thumbnail back. So let me give you an example of a good prompt and a bad prompt. So let's first start with the bad prompt. So this is a generic prompt that I came up with. Create a thumbnail of the Squid Games characters scared. This is something that I would consider a bad prompt. So let's see how the AI does. As you can see, with the very vague prompt, it didn't do well at all. I mean, I don't even know if this is related to Squid Games, but that is because of our prompt. So let's go ahead and actually test out a good prompt. So here is a good prompt that I came up with. Create a thumbnail for a video titled Squid Games Ending Explained. The scene shows the main character of Squid Games standing alone, handcuffed, and surrounded by guards. His head is down. Add bold text above him in white that says explained. So let's go ahead and generate this image. Okay, and this looks a lot better than the previous image. As you can see, it has the Squid Games character in the middle with his green jumpsuit and he is surrounded by guards. His head is down just like I explained in the prompt. So this is the difference between asking the AI a good prompt and a bad prompt. You want to be sure not to confuse the AI by adding too much detail, but you also don't want to be vague and not add enough detail. There's a happy middle ground in between. And here's an example of a good prompt once again. Let's go ahead and test out one of the other key features of Pixels, which is recreating a viral thumbnail. So here's the recreate right here. What we're gonna go ahead and do, like I mentioned previously, is we're gonna go to one of the videos that we want to recreate. We'll go to this, and then we're gonna go ahead and copy the link right here. So we simply copy this link, and we're gonna go ahead and paste it into the Pixel software. So right next to thumbnail, it says recreate. You're gonna enter in the link right here. And here's something key that I need you guys to understand. There are three different levels of inspiration weight. What inspiration weight means is essentially how much inspiration do you want to take from the thumbnail? Do you want it to be very similar? Do you want it to be kind of similar? Or do you want it to be just a little bit similar? So I usually have found the best results using high inspiration weight. With this feature, you're also able to make minor changes. So I found it best if you just recreate it without any changes. But for example, if we wanted to make the plain blue, let's go ahead and add this and see just how the image comes out. So before I press generate, I want to show you guys this is the thumbnail on the channel. This is the one that we're taking inspiration from. So we'll go back to pixels now and try the recreate future. Let me go ahead and press generate and let's see what it comes up with. Whoa. So as you guys can see, this recreate future works almost perfectly. As you can see, this is the thumbnail that it generated for us. And this is the thumbnail that we got inspiration from. As you can see, it made the minor small change of me asking him to turn the plane blue and everything else looks identical. So this is an example of the recreate future. And this works with multiple different styles of videos. Say we have this thumbnail right here from Mr. Beast. Let's say we want to recreate it. We'll go ahead and press the video and we'll get the link. We'll press recreate and add this YouTube link. Let's say we don't want to make any changes. Let's see how good the AI is. Wow, this is incredible. If we go back to the main Mr. Beast video, this is the exact same thumbnail, just with a different person. Now, the cool thing about Pixels is it actually has a face swap option. Okay, what we're going to go ahead and do to use the face swap feature is we're going to press face swap and then we're going to upload a picture of Mr. Mr. Beast. Here's the image I have of Mr. Beast. Let me go ahead and upload it. Once we upload it, we can press generate and let's see what the AI comes up with. So as you guys can see, here's the face swap that it did. And it actually looks pretty accurate if you ask me. So this is awesome. This is the face swap future, but keep in mind, it only works if you guys look kind of similar. And there you have it. That's how you make thumbnails with AI in five minutes. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to Pixels if you want to check it out, along with some other helpful YouTube softwares. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. On this channel, we make videos about growing on YouTube and other business related topics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.